Welcome back to the Weebly Tutorials. Last time I showed you how to upload a signature assignment in the form of a Word document. You can also use the file element to upload other kinds of files like MP3 audio files, PDF files, PowerPoints, and so forth. However, please note that as of this date, Weebly's file upload limit is 5 megabytes. Today I'm going to show you how to add photo galleries and videos to your ePortfolio. Let's pretend that you've got some good photos of work you've done in a fine arts class. I've created a hidden fine arts page for my fine arts coursework and linked it to the fine arts heading on my general education page. For information on how to do that, refer back to tutorial number five. So let's go to my hidden fine arts page. Click on that, edit this page. Okay, so you can see I've got a title of this is the fine arts page. I've got the course that I took, let's say an introduction to photography course. I've got a description of my assignment uh, and I've got reflective writing about that assignment. Actually, this is the reflective writing from my American Institutions class, but I'm just pasting it in there to show you. So uh, Weebly has a very nice photo gallery uh, element located in the multimedia section. You can drag the photo gallery down to where you want it. I'm going to put it between the description and the reflection. And if you click on it, you can upload images from your computer. And I've got some photos here. Let's see. These are photos of volleyball events that I've taken and have been put into the Globe newspaper, so they should be okay. And it uploads the photos right in there. I notice I selected six photos and put them in there. And so in a photography class, this might have been uh, an assignment to create a portfolio of your work. And then I would hit Publish and uh, have to write about um, the photography work that you've done. All right, so I'm going to actually get rid of this now that I've put it in there. You can delete any element you want by clicking in the upper right corner and confirming, and that element will be gone the next time you publish. You can also host a Flickr slideshow on your Weebly ePortfolio. You'll first need to create an account with Flickr if you don't already have one, upload your photos there, and tag them with a unique keyword for each slideshow that you plan to have in your ePortfolio. So what you would do is you would begin by dragging the Flickr slideshow element into your ePortfolio, again, where you want it. They've got a dummy slideshow. Uh, in there. And you click inside the element, you'll want to put your Flickr login email. And let's see if I can remember what mine is. Martin. It's a Yahoo account. And you'll want to put in the tag of the photos that you put into Flickr that you want to show here. And it was city. If you just click outside the, the element here, your photos will show up there and it'll be a slideshow. And these happen to be photos uh, that I have taken around the world from in various cities. There's New York City. So I've created a little gallery of that in Flickr, tag those photos with a certain identifying keyword, and then uh, dragged in the Flickr photo slideshow element. And you can have a little slideshow. OK. So I would hit Publish then when I was done with that. All right, but we want to get rid of that. So again, click in the upper right to get it rid of an element and delete. Finally, I'd like to show you that uh, Weebly can also host YouTube videos. 
So if you click and drag on the YouTube video element and drop it in there, then click inside this element, you'll see that you'll need to put the URL of the video that you want to show. They've just got a little dummy holder here. So what you'll need to do is open a new browser window and go to YouTube. Again, you'll have you'll need to have already uploaded the the video into YouTube. Uh, I've got an account here and I can go to my videos and let's say I would like this video that I made for a class to be in there. I would go to that, find the URL and it's right here and copy that. I'll get this out of the way copy that or paste that URL into this window and click outside of the um, element box. And that video is embedded into my ePortfolio and will play right in there without having to leave the ePortfolio. This can be very effective uh, for projects like um, group projects in which you want to document your work. Uh, speeches that you've given in a public uh, speaking class or other class. Please remember to only put your own SLCC related photos and videos into your ePortfolio. Do not violate the intellectual property rights of others.